Morning, my morning, he awakens me, opens my ear, awakes my understanding. Morning, my morning, he awakens me, ready to learn from him. Good morning and welcome to Morning by Morning from New Covenant Parish Church on Monday, April the 12th, 2021. Our theme for this week's Morning by Morning is The Poor. Since they, as we read time and again in the Bible, are dear to God's heart. Our story this morning is not about the poor in general, but about one poor person in particular, a widow that Jesus saw putting her offering into the temple treasury. Jesus sat down opposite the place where the offerings were put and watched the crowd putting their money into the temple treasury. Many rich people threw in large amounts, but a poor widow came and put in two very small copper coins worth only a few pence. Calling his disciples to him, Jesus said, Truly I tell you, this poor widow has put more into the treasury than all the others. They all gave out of their wealth, but she, out of her poverty, put in everything, all she had to live on. I wonder what you think when you think about the poor, probably helping them, giving money to charities or directly, working to change the practices and systems and rules that continue to make and keep people poor, making known and speaking up about the inequalities in our world between rich and poor. Our Lord comes across one day what the Bible describes as a poor widow. But he does none of these things. Surely he could have taken some money that he and his disciples had and made sure she had at least a bit more food on the table for a while. Or preached a sermon to all those rich people to look after the less fortunate. Here, at least, he doesn't do any of these things. He watches the woman and he sees not her poverty, but her faith, her dignity, her generosity, her love of God. How easy it would have been for the woman to go into the temple, see what all the rich people were putting into the plate and saying, what good is my small coin? Or, I'm not really important enough, worth enough to go into the temple court. What can I possibly give to God? The widow does not let her poverty dictate or shape or define her or her actions. She is shaped and defined by God and his love for her and her love for him. Nor does Jesus let her poverty define her. He looks beyond that and sees her great love for the Father. The poor, definitely, we should care for them and defend their cause. But the poor, they're not just one great big mass or group of people for us to help 
campaign for, preach about. To Jesus, whom we follow, the poor are individuals, real people with stories and histories, with values and consciences, hopes and dreams, devotion to their God. Do we give to charities that work for the poor? Let's not give up doing that. Do we campaign and protest to our MP on behalf of the poor? Let's not give up doing that. Do we preach about, pray about, study God's word about the poor? Let's not give up doing that. But let's also see the poor as people, individuals, and let them teach us as Jesus used this woman to teach his disciples about human worth, dignity, integrity, devotion to God. Let us open our eyes as Jesus always did and see the people and not just the poverty. Amen. Let us pray. Lord, help us to be like Jesus, seeing more and more the individuals, families, communities who struggle to make ends meet and so draw alongside them, not just to help them, but to learn from them that our lives and our faith might be enriched by them. We pray for people who are in financial difficulties. We thank you for those poor people that we have known who have taught us how to live faithfully and generously. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. A woman came with her offering. The world's small change was all she had to bring. But come she did and gave all she had. So rich that woman's love for God. Our Lord, he saw not the woman's rags, didn't look down on the little she had. He saw the wealth of the woman's trust in the God she loved so much. Lord, may we from this story learn to see each person one by one and value them and let them teach how best the Father's heart to